it's one thing that Braun turns out to be the guardian of the grill. That, that's just the Fisher King type shit. That was flipping out. Then you see that Yakima, they were calling Satan's real name publicly as Mark because it's one of Akuma. All right, that, that, that's another one. But now you got the Pope with all this other shit changing. And, and it's like this. You know, I don't mean to flip some of you out, but fully but surely I have to get you to this level. Otherwise, you won't have the power that you need. And I'll remind you, you have to apply this shit selflessly. The Bloody Mary thing is a really good example. I'm going to give you why. Because, like when I say, my wife married me off to hell, little the goddess of death type shit. You know, I was in a situation where I'm drinking her vagina blood. Now, what I'm showing you is that there's another way where you could... Where I was saying, if you doubted blood over intent and blood magic... Go mix up a Bloody Mary with vodka specifically. If you can get a woman to mix up some of her vagina blood in there, that would make it more mythical and more powerful. But just the vodka in there, the spirit, they call vodka alcohol spirits for a reason. Yeah. Bloody Mary is clearly a spirit in a mirror, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those people out for, you know, like you see ghost adventures, it's a, it's a flash of a these beings are just a shadow of themselves. What I'm saying to you is that I know you've seen in videos spirits do spooky shit. You may have even heard of a spirit killing people and shit like that. And what I'm saying to you is that most people will not walk into their fucking bathroom, spin around saying Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, with or without a candle. That, that would just. You just don't get the concept of where Bloody Mary came from. This is Queen Mary there, you know. They killed her in 16 whatever and they said to everybody, if you look in the mirror and spin around or whatever, and Queen whatever is gonna come and flip get you Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Mary. So they attach something to a force that has no blood of its own. I mean this is like when I say to you to mix up like V8 as an example. V for vagina and like eight like the feminine. They show you like the bottom of the eight is bigger than the top of the eight. This is like the you know, the woman with curves and and what I'm saying to you is that going in front of the mirrors literally Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, the devil sent me. Yeah? And then you take this you know, you've been around three times. I'm oh, sorry, one time. And you take this cup and you visualize as you're drinking it that you're literally drinking it from the vagina of this queen, Mary Tudor. Not in your head, you're thinking still bloody Mary Spooky with a face down and hair like this. Like they show you in videos. Like stupid videos. They always show you bloody Mary. Like this, with like long hair. Or they show you like a dark face that flashes for like just fraction of a second and you see the person can see it they get flipped out the spirit world in general people they, they won't they'll say they don't believe in it but then they won't walk into the fucking bathroom and do a bloody mary bloody mary bloody mary i mean how long did it take you to come to the realization that this is not going to get you possessed or spooked out or anything like this this is yeah. like, like people you're worried about demons or whatever you know being possessed you'd be so lucky I don't even know, like hold on I'm telling you it doesn't matter what name you call if I had my own adventure ghost show whatever the minute I got to the place I'd be spilling up some fucking blood and I'd be calling out the ghost and making a very clear point. You're just a shadow of your motherfucking self. You're already dead. You're not here, you know, mixing with the living every day and affecting shit. So you threw some fucking plates off my fucking refrigerator. I mean, uh, you know, this, you think ghosts are so mythical, they could throw plates and videos. What do they do with plates? They move chandeliers. How, how is that? Bringing forth heaven and earth. Explain this to me. You got all this mythical power. You got no fucking body. You can make that chandelier move. 
They can't fucking play ball at the wall. I assure you. They're already dead. They can't make atonement for their filthy soul, sir. You know, you're in the land of the dead and in this body or without a body. I mean, this is funny. You're already legally dead. But somehow, you get all spooked out about spirits or something like this. The real power is in the blood. And spirits have, guess what? None to spill up. I make the atonement for their filthy soul. And this is God's law. And animal sacrifices are insufficient. And I assure you that the spirits get behind you when you stand in this type of thing because they're dead but now they can see it but nobody else that they can see can see it to help in the spirit world you know they want to help people go down the right path but where would a spirit even begin to get you on that crap though like a spirit said to your mind you're on a flat earth plane you'd have to start researching flat earth and then get used to the idea of seeing talking about one time one time Point, but, I mean, there's just so much stuff that you're legally dead already. That you're being sold on the stock machine. That you just want your ass stretched, your mouth stretched, and your pussy stretched. It's that. What I'm saying is that people really love the abuse. They enjoy it. I mean, some of the best porn probably we like to watch is like the one where, yeah, you know, it's like, it's just funny. It's like, like you don't watch porn where like you like. Oh, you I mean, you you watch more to see people bumping puppies, this type of shit. So, what I'm saying is, like, what I'm saying, you never left Egypt or Sodom and Gomorrah never was blown up. You're living in it right now, <laughs> you know? People, they like Babylon and shit. You know? I can tell you. When I say everybody's being watched, you can't. Let me put it to you like this. The universe needs to balance out. And if it needs to balance out, it's because it's watching and taking notes. And it knows it has to balance out or it's going to do some shit. So when I say the collective consciousness of the whole, like the sun, is reading shit all the Akashic record and you're looking at it and it's giving it to you, or you're not looking at the sun and it's burning all your stupid shit that you're doing into the Akashic record for future generations to see what the fuck did these people were thinking back then until this guy stepped up and said look it doesn't matter if it's bloody mary or whatever fucking being if it's a female being or a male being you know what i'm saying is that this concept of spilling up your blood for a being that's already dead why would you do such i mean you're i do it for the living and the dead and you know People who aren't even born yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, no soul is behind. They may have not have a body, it may be but a mirror, but she's still got a soul. It's just trapped in a mirror. And people are, and it's just the whole shit that's thrown up at people at this point. All I see is like, unless they're like part of like the soul community, I don't see any intelligence out there at all. I mean, even if I was to pick up like a new career tomorrow, like if I said, I'm not doing plumbing, I'm going to be a doctor tomorrow. You know, in like 48 hours time, I'm going to watch every fucking surgery video there ever was published. Yeah, and I'd be like a master knowing shit. Just like, you know how to put your key in the door when you leave the house and lock it, walk to your car or whatever, or lock the door. Or this is like shit you do every day, right? So I pick up on shit pretty quick, like I said. I've only plumbing for a year. That's a lot of shit to learn. I haven't even get around to today's video. I'll get it up there like an hour after we're done talking. But you see, a lot of cool shit I've learned. And people, who? I mean, if you didn't like what you were doing today, give me. people. A job is just over broke. The employer plays you just enough so you don't quit. And you work just enough so you don't get fired. That's a shit. So. And I'll, I would be talking to people too. Like. Because like you're putting your blood up there for them. Whatever. In whatever way. And like. You have to address them. Even if they're like spirits. Like you have to talk to them. Like you can't really be afraid of them. You can't ignore them. Especially if they're the ones that are. They're using your blood. I can tell you this. I'm surrounded by like a gang of motherfucking invisible beings. That, you know, like people around me, 
yeah, 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 all the time. I mean, it doesn't matter where I go. It's just weird shit. And it's not an accident. Like, when you think of Khan in the Star Trek Discovery, he had his 72 family members, like the 72 genie of the Arabian Nights. Plus Khan, or like Satan. So when I, when I say like this Prince of Demon type shit, and you think I'm crazy, you would never think to print off a demon sigil with your blood on front of You'd be watching EA Kuwaiti telling you to set up a whole fucking thing. I don't know where really at. That was the fucking most ridiculous thing ever. No, I'm telling you. And, uh, it's that nothing about that is other beings that you t- see t- doing magic or whatever they're talking shit. They're never self. I've never seen anybody talking self shit ever. When have you ever seen a magician do like, I just saw some republishable rent. I want to win the jackpot. I had a republish a lotto showing you the lotto's rigged. Just like the Super Bowl's rigged. They printed the fucking Patriot winning t shirts and started selling them on the TV a week early. So that you would know whoever was trying to pay attention. It was like if you were in the betting thing, you could have you could have bet on this game and won. I mean I deleted the video. You know, but the Patriots won anyways. You know, it just shows the story. It's all, it's all rigged. All the numbers, the fifty threes, and all the people that are associated with this whole enterprise. Flat out, tell you, it's fucking entertainment. So they can rig it, somehow get away with it, and take the monies and bet on that shit. Las Vegas gambling, whatever. The, you know. Betting on sports is a big business. If you finally come to the realization it's rigged, it's like what I'm saying. Somebody says the game ain't rigged, and I'm gonna tell you, running down the clock in itself is rigging the game. That means that there's five minutes on the shot on, on the clock, and you're not gonna give it your all. You're just gonna down or whatever, and just fuck off. I mean, just, what's the sportsmanship about that? You know. You're not going to give it your all to the very end of the game. It was just the whole, the whole thing is right. That thing is right. From guys missing passes to whatever. We know they're, they're professionals. I'm just saying that. The fact that anybody bets on sports in general, it's just, it's like the lot of shit. I mean, I see people with a lot of those minutes. Pull this way out. I see pulling shit out their wallet. My God, I'm thinking of myself. You know. You're a fucking fool. I mean, you, you, get, you see that guy on TV that won the lottery? I assure you, the guy that they're telling you about who says he rigged the lottery, he was talking in front of Congress and shit, he's like, yeah, I would give him the numbers, and he would then just give me half of the money, you know, or, or this type of thing. And what I'm saying to you is, he did this in all kinds of states. So just, remember, people commit a lot of crimes. That just the ones they know for sure about are the ones they're telling you. Five states, he can, bullshit. Only five states this motherfucker was on to something. He'd have been giving this shit out for, like, look what I figured out. Pay me a million dollars and I'll show you how to do this and it'll expand into your state. What I'm saying is that for you to suggest for a second that it was just those five fucking states, it's like, it's like saying that you're using the Onion browser and that you're surfing the internet, you know, anonymously. The U.S. Navy intelligence made the fucking browser and you're going to sit here and tell me that you're not fucking retarded because of the blood. Huh, don't put your blood on that. Jesus put his blood up for you. Motherfucker. They stole your soul, print off your foot of birth. Your soul, your, your, your money says in God we trust on a separation of church and state. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's separation of church and state. But your leaders swear on a fucking Bible. Okay? It, it, don't tell me about separation. The, the CIA stands for the Catholic Intelligence Office. It's ran by Jesuits. They got the whole fucking city of, like, Langley where they could set up all kinds, they have all kinds of shit they can set up. Everybody is, like, somehow convinced that what they're doing is the right thing to do for whatever money that they make working with this organization that's supposedly trying to protect us from some, like, 
if you really think Kim Jong-un or any of these other motherfuckers out there are a threat to the United States, that's kind of funny. The biggest threat to the United States is you for not doing anything. You're supposed to be blood thick with your countrymen. Natural. You're going to go stand side by side with them. We go to war and die beside them, but you can't stand here before war and just unite peacefully. Blood thick, bound in truth. This is, no, so flippy sick to me. Being the devil isn't as glamorous as people like, but I can tell you this. Nobody enters the House of Living Waters before Satan. And if you think Admiral Richard Byrd and Semi, this is kind of funny. He went there as the fucking postmaster and was rejected. He went there to open up. Like, you can't mail a letter out to somebody until there's a postmaster that set up some sort of communication where you have a zip code. You know what I'm saying? So, if you wanted to mail an, a letter to Shambhala or a package or whatever, there would have to be that postal service in there, which is part of that intelligence. Anything that, look it up, the mail service, they don't fuck around, they, they are you're gridded up. You have a telephone number that they can track. You have your social security number you can track. You have a fucking address. You have a credit cards. It doesn't, it, like you're, you're on the run. They tell you, don't use your cell phone. Don't use your credit cards. You, I mean, you literally, might as well, if you're white, shave your head if it's not already shaved and paint yourself black. I mean, you get a new identity. This type of shit. An identity. You know? What I'm saying is that let me see your ID. This is flippy to me being asked to see my ID. It's like, that should flip you out. Show me your identification, you know? Mm -hmm. And on it's got your name, your address, your this, your that. I mean, it's, they've got you cornered up in so many different ways. They got your medical records, they got your education records, they know your birth records, who's part of your family tree. If you want to know why they, it doesn't matter what church. It, it's all abundant life. This type of shit. But none of them get any life. You've been reading this Bible for so long and you haven't gotten any smarter. Now I stumble and see on top of Jesus can't save you. They tell you clearly right over here. 2 Corinthians 4. 4. And it's for a reason. Because Jesus turns out to be the motherfucking son. And the son of God. Just so they think that anybody can grasp into this shit. It would take them years. I mean, it's a, the Kundalini type shit. Yeah. I don't believe it. Really. That's fun. You get horny, hungry, a pain in your heart, a frog in your throat, you get a headache, your scalp right there. You got your soles of your feet, two below. You have your angel wings at three above you and your halo. This is... It's... I'm telling you, people. Where would you begin? It's like the pineal gland thing. You want to open up your pineal gland? How to decalcify your pineal gland? Let me tell you how to decalcify your pineal gland. Give worship and everybody's like the dearest to you. You know, like you hold people dear. It's like, I hold everybody dear around. Every, yes, sir, thank you for my opportunity to serve. It's literally, I, it's okay. This is, the so one thing is, I hold everybody around me dear. And, you know, I want us, no soul left behind anybody. Everybody else, you know, it's like how many people, like this week on, on the job, I made a video showing. I, my middle finger was cut like today. And you'll see it in the video today. It was like in the same spot. And I wiped it on my leg and I said, oh, I intend to bring forth heaven. And everybody was around me. And nobody slipped out about it because I've already acclimated. You know, I acclimate people quick to who I am. I told you, you can't be a vampire. They say if you're a vampire, you can't cross the threshold of like people's own business and type of shit. You know, that, tell them that this is the type of being you are. You, kids, you say, kids are so mean, they say the craziest things. Maybe they wouldn't, you know, if you didn't raise your, your kids, you know. My son, don't, don't be making fun of me. He already knows three fingers are pointing back. He already, I'm telling you, my son's already been shown that if he fuck with, it immediately comes back to my son quick. If he picks on somebody, you can see, I can see it happen right here. In like a short time, something that other parents or other people won't pick up because I'm not a child anymore. I've been beat up, fucked up, horrible shit's happening. That's what you have to go through. Horrible shit. Otherwise, how would you know that all this horrible shit is happening to you about you're legally dead and all that? If I didn't 
get beat up, turn into a flat. No, look, I was a flat earther first. That happened. And what I'm just saying is that I went from like, look at all the flat earthers. They're all fucking retarded. I know I'm gonna talk about holy girl shit. I'm just saying that this is the adversary that people have to go through. Adversary. Satan is the adversary. Is Satan really adversary if after all that shit you got real intelligence? It's not about the money. Your money is useless. Your creators watch it. And if you think your creator needs fucking money, I assure your creator's motherfucking pissed that the money even says in God we trust on its worthless fucking paper. It's not backed by gold, it's backed by your fucking slavery and, and your stupidity. So I assure you, when you see shit like yeah, the Pope and all of the leaders are bowing down to him and all these leaders are swearing in a Bible, and if you think of okay, they're swearing in a Quran or some other thing, that's kind of funny. The Pope stepped up and claimed ownership of the world and then came out publicly and said, don't argue with Satan. He's too... Satan is really the ruler of this world. He, he changes the story like in a second. And don't argue with the devil. You know, this, this is... Because... It, somehow it's written into canon law. Let me say, my mother's name, mother's maiden name is King. I'm... You know, there's something in you that carries down. Like, they, they show you that this soldier uh, this guy they, they make him go what was that word the, the assassin whatever assassin creed where, where they send him back in time to where his ancestors they could only do it because it was in their blood it, there was something that transfers when you bang somebody and you have a baby there's some sort of thing that transfers through there that's why you have your mother's maiden name and you always remember your what's your you know your last name you get married your, the woman gives you away your name right and, and then that, it becomes a babe name and <clears throat> I'm just saying in general that this is kind of deep I wouldn't I don't even comprehend this shit I mean y'all worry about the Pope and all this it's kind of funny what the more wealth you think you hold the less power you really have it's like you could be the most billionaires guy in the world I assure you when you get to that abyss if you ever do make it there Okay, do Mirage Mountain. Okay. They're gonna send your ass back. Because only the devil hides his intent. I've already made the atonement for my soul. I've shown proof of life, this type of thing. I'm public standing here. I don't give a fuck what anybody believes. You hear what I say on the spirit? That's your This shit is not supposed to happen in reversal like that. Not on literally every fucking. I mean, if people really were. Well, like when you say that you're anything that I've published, you should I imagine somebody should have been already obsessed with like reversing all my shit because I've already chopped that off your gut. Don't you dare say God bless you, God loves you, I love you. I mean why not die, 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 all over that shit. That's the ones I'm gonna show you from today in the truck, it's like uh, I keep running the same type of shit over it. It's like how is it that so the human slave turns out to be feels, then we heal us. This is like when David John Oates said, the secrets to the subconscious mind, he's pitching all his shit to psychologists and business owners that, you know, there's something deeper that you can find out about your client. They're gonna tell you your problems. You're gonna read their problems into this and we're gonna play it back and decode their solution. The psychiatrist is gonna have you tell them what your fucking mental problems are record them and play your words back and David Jones has a one year class I was just watching the video it's like pitching psychiatrist and he's saying this is a tool that's going to benefit you it's going to benefit this military this organization how is Alistair Crowley was talking about this shit way back then do you think it they don't backwards records this has been kept from you it's out Nobody's safe anymore. Every word, everything began with the what? It starts as an idea in your head. It's not here until what do you do? You spit it out your fucking mouth and somebody else hears it. Now they start thinking, oh, I want one of those. Holy shit. Oh, I can make one of those. Well, thanks for teaching me how to make this. People, whatever it, they tell you, in the beginning was the word, that thing that went out. Otherwise, before the word went out, it was just an idea. Nobody heard the idea. It was just in your idea. You had to bring the thought 
into reality. You wrote it down, an idea. You made plans that you were gonna stick to this, this type of thing, right? You draw shit out. And, you know, like you're drawing out something, like a, a result. You wanna draw something out of the universe. Like I wanted to draw something out of Bloody Mary as the devil. You saw me on video. I'm the fucking devil. You will show me your face or expire. You will join me in blood or expire. Nobody talks to Bloody Mary this way. I mean, you won't even go in the bathroom and go Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, three times. Let alone say, you're gonna fucking expire. The fucking devil. The angel of death is one with me. You know, it's like, it's join me. Or you're just an expire in general because if, you know, somebody can say this type of shit on video and try and draw. So it's like you're trying to pick a fight. Like you used to see in Ghost Adventures, they always like to pick a fight to draw a spirit out. And now they're not like that anymore. They don't antagonize shit like that. That's right. This guy, he gets tattoos on his body now to try and protect himself from stupid shit. It's like if, if he walked in the house first, everybody says the place is fucking haunted. You've seen shit, you guys see shit, whatever, some video, blah, 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 blah. The more shit I hear, it's like, are you all fucking retarded? It's like, they have no fucking blood. They can move plates, open doors, you know, manipulate shit for you. So, if they have no blood to make an atonement for their filthy soul, and you step up for a spirit like this, listen, they say demons are attracted to their blood, now you know why. It's like, they have no blood to spill, they can't make that atonement. They have to stick to you and help you and do cool shit for you because nobody else will. Who the fuck would even think to make an atonement for somebody else's soul? You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck would... You don't even think to make an atonement for your own soul, let alone somebody else's soul. And if you're thinking about making an atonement for your soul with your blood, it's because you met me for one of my blood family, correct? There's no... every no... This Zachariah is down. It was his blood. If that was the motherfucking case, I wouldn't be standing here as a slave beside you. You know what I mean? This type of shit. Would it? No. God, if you only knew how horrible it really was. Yeah, like they think that they're all saved already. Just because, like, they, they reasoned it out themselves. That's not even the case. Look, I know people think superpowers is the problem. That's the joke. It's like you got to have superpowers because you're in fear of what? Why can't you just be happy united in a common cause of like everybody getting the best of everything? I mean, it's like, why am I the one who has to fucking throw this shit out there? Why is it that nobody else is throwing this shit out there? I mean, what, who's ever told you to do selfless blood match? I mean, when have you ever seen a magician do something selfless? I mean, this is funny. Every, Video you watch. I, I want money, wealth, fame, fortune, a lot, whatever the fuck it is. It, oh, it's always about you wanting shit. Yeah, I'm like wanting to give away all my wishes and type of shit to people, but you know, it, what, I've had all the money in the world before. I've been without money in the world, and I'm telling you, the happiest I've been is when. I was a plumber. Nobody fucks with me. You can see I get away going to work. Nobody looks at me. Nobody bothers me. Nobody's gonna fuck with me. It's just this is like a bullshit. I get away. It's like I don't do service calls. No, I, I just go to one job. I'm not like one of those service plumbers like I was at that movie where I did do construction and service that type of shit. Like I got off doing construction and I was on a fucking call. I got, I got, I got, Eight o'clock at night, I don't get home till one o'clock in the morning because you got a fucking clock in the house. I got to wonder if a fucking sense they could ever do this type of shit. And yeah, I know you, the overtime you get or whatever. You're, I'm just saying it's cooler now because you get to see. I just, I get to work. I jump the car. I go pick up some supplies. I go to the install. All right, fix this. Do that. I mean, and I'm videotaping, so you know nobody's fucking with me at all. Let me see anybody get away with that shit. I mean, I haven't seen anybody get away with that shit. Who does that? Who fucking does it all day? Every step I, I mean, know that. I mean, I can't do it every step because I'm a plumber. I get shit wet or uh, whatever. It, but I'm just saying, nobody would think to go to their job tomorrow as a salesperson and say, 
look, I work for this company, and this is what the fuck we sell. Yeah, whatever the fuck it is. And my boss is paying me to sit here on the phone and call this list of customers. Your boss would be flipped out if you did shit like that. He'd be like, you're exposing company secrets and horrible shit. I don't want people sitting inside of our business. You know, it's like there was something to hide. Like you're a dirty company or something. If anybody told me to stop filming, I would think there was something criminal about you. What are you trying to hide? You know what I mean? Why are you filming everything? Because it's my ass on the line, not yours, motherfucker. If the job doesn't get past inspection, and there's all kinds of inspections, gas inspection, lights inspection, plumbing inspection. It's inspector after inspector after inspector after inspector. You can't possibly imagine. So, like you'll see today, I was showing you the beer place that I'm working at. You can see, I got all the beer taps running beer today. You'll see, you'll see the video. I got the fucking cooler up there. I mean, all kinds of cool shit. I mean, this is like, it's like I'm being paid to have fun all day. And this is like the greatest thing. The one I was thinking, where I was before, like, I had a sales type company, you know, and then I like retired of that and went into like YouTube type shit and nobody bothered me to get away with it. It was YouTube, right? I was able to sent it home doing YouTube long enough to where the checks started coming and nobody questioned what I was doing. It was just, it was okay, because everybody knew, you better have what at the end of the week, your paycheck, or at the end of two weeks, you know? And I'm just saying, sales and having to play a lot of hours and shit, I mean, you feel like you gotta drive a fancy car, you gotta have all this gaudy shit. I used to wear Rolex, I mean, I used to feel like, I had to impress people. I don't care. I show you the most the fucking ugliest pair of workers. You'll never see a pair worn down to the fucking that down development. You just won't see it. I've never seen it. I've seen a little, little slip like this on somebody's boots. But these boots are still that comfortable. Or I mean, get me on my knees all day and, and just it's or in the rough all day and somehow it's day by day shaving these things down. You know, to to literally the metal, but they're still perfectly shaped they're just ugly the heel's not missing it's like I haven't even worn down the don't misinterpret what I'm saying I'm just saying it this is not an accident to me when they say walk in someone else's shoes and I make a video do I have any takers that will walk in these shoes I mean it's just I've been through a lot of crazy to walk in my shoes it means you'd have to go through the cops doing horrible shit to you go through and then because you had video of them that was already on YouTube that they couldn't get back you are now considered to be that T-word, and you had to be brought to that. And, and listen, every city has one. I don't, every police station has a specific place where they bring that type of person, where they could be tortured, and it's no cameras, no nothing, and uh, and, and that's what they do. And I got the scars and the shit to show for it. And, and what I'm saying to you is that this type of shit, uh, you, you'd have to go through to, to walk in these type of shoes because. I don't like live in fear. It's like I've already been, I'm just happy to be alive and not in jail. You know what I mean? I have a place to go to every day or whatever, you know? It's like your family doesn't just sit up, your child has to go to school. That's like normal. I mean, if you're gonna sit around homeschool, I mean, that, that's cool. I homeschool my child naturally. You're supposed to be educating your children since birth. It's like who taught them their first language? Your kid went to school speaking a language for sure. Whether they knew how to write or not, they learned how to speak it from the parent, right? Like a shit and probably they go to school and they're taught letters or whatever. I, I'm a teacher my son shit in the crib, you know, like way in advance. You know, just the very idea, you know, to send him off to school and so he can mingle with other people and not grow up to be a fucking weirdo like you or whatever, you know. You know, like, like one of those people who breastfeed their child till they're 14. This is fucking crazy. I mean, just squirt it into a cup form. I mean, feed it to him in, in a glass. Like, I'm, uh, you know, like, sir, you're going to make him come sit over here in your bosom like this in front of a bunch of people that never seen anything like that. I mean, that, that's crazy. Let me standing here at the devil doing blood magic. And I can tell you this. People should be doing that Bloody Mary thing I said. At 3 a.m., you do it three times. Devil, 
I'm sorry. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. The devil sent me. You spin around. You take a sip at that V8, or however you can make your homemade shit, tomato juice, tomato juice, whatever the fuck it is. But it's that tomato based Bloody Mary. And it's and it's got the, a vodka, a spirit in there. And you see, they put the celery in there. And this is the sell her ray, like ray, like a ray of light. You know, you capture something. You know, you, you, they maybe look like shadow people out there. They, you know, like ghost food shows, it's a shadow or it's a, an orb or something like this. It's that you're a star at your heart, you know, and. You know, you're like vibrating frequency. You know, these guys, shadow people here, they're so shaped like some of them hats and very unique shapes that clearly define them. You know, as what I'm saying to you is, it's not something that it's like when people fear all kinds of shit. I mean, unless it's a rabid animal, a crazy person running at you, like making you fight or flight. You know, this is, it's like, I don't know, I don't some handle shit going on in my head. Yeah. I don't want to want to like, burn, like before, of course. I mean, there's just a whole list of shit that I can keep thinking, remembering, and bursting up thing. how the fuck don't you see this? You know, it's impossible. You know, they, you're going to not stand for the national thing. You're going to kneel. They're going to tell you. It's sort of like, do you stand or sit when you pee? You're a football player. Tell me, do you stand or sit when you piss? You know, it's like, you stand or... It's just... It's not whether you stood or saluted, it was that it was the wrong fucking flag. You're supposed to have this... Your civilian flag with the stripes going up and down. So if you're at war, like we're at wartime, which means that you're under martial law right now. So people say, oh, we're at martial law and shit like that. Or World War Three starting or shit like this. This is kind of funny to me. World War II never ended, it's still going on, and martial law is what happens when you're at war. You're under martial law right now. You can't travel without a passport and IDs and everything is... You think you're not under martial law? Every freaking... Not only is Raider capturing everything, but I'm telling you this, there's some other you know, people that are out there capturing it, you know. It's like they're watching me, the devil. Am I, am I worried that... They just cameras it. I went up to work. They're gonna set up cameras on me. I don't give a fuck who the fuck is watching. I don't care. It's like I told you. I own your soul already. You got nowhere to run to. I don't care if you're the president. It, it, what are you gonna do? You won't cross that gate. And like I said, nobody gets this far. It's that. It's just. This is something like. You just gotta let it roll forward. It's like, what are you gonna do with that? Yeah, there's these splatters over here. This guy's talking about the girl. The girl. It's got all this empathy. You, you can't be tell me you're a detective or a CIA agent and not put all the shit together that I'm putting together. You know, at some point, you're gonna realize you can't say you're an intel. You can't step to me and say you're with the CIA. I'm gonna fucking laugh. <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, you have no fucking. How do you say you're with an intelligence organization when you have zero fucking intelligence? And then it turns out to be the Catholic. Uh, intelligent agency. Okay, Catholics don't even believe that their Earth is flat. They all think they're fucking monkeys floating on a ball. Well, they're teaching their kids about that's not all right. I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. You're better at being like a Mormon in your own little town and being raised in the weird clothes. And you know, it's there's that show, uh, Escaping Whatever Mormon Town or whatever. I forget what the name is, but you see these people that have grown up on these farms now go out. It's a reality, and they're like, holy shit, I like that bitch. And they divorced their wife, now they've been, you know, now I, I can steal these other things. They, they don't dress like that. These are dirty, sweaty skirts, and they smell real pretty. They don't smell like manure or something. It's, you, you see what I'm saying? They, it's like they got out of a cage or something. And step into, it's like out of the frying pan into the fucking bar. It's like she, you left your little shitty Mormon town. We're all looking at you like you're like ready to get on our horses and shit. Yeah, I read your Bible and shit. You can't even see. You're gonna tell me you're a Bible professional, but you never read that this is Satan's world or something like this. And then Satan steps up and tells you, "I'm sitting here in blood. All you're listening to the Bible. I know where the 
trying to do this, the corner being all this shit, the rump of your face, but if somebody had more than just a little bit of information, like how to write a book or something, they would have already stepped forward and done this type of shit. Yeah, how could you go to a place and then not come back here and just it didn't happen because they were told, now, nah, bye bye. You gotta be by the book. This is all unfolding like a book. I mean, you, I don't, I don't work. I'm gonna live, I told you. I tell you flat out. You think vampires bite at people's necks? You, you think these royals are out there? I know, They're killing people to take their pile of glands to get high on that adrenaline. Try to bring some pussy juice sometime and then see how you end up turning into a fucking guy like me who's like, I don't see any obstacles that I really couldn't overcome. So like there's an obstacle there, but it's not really an obstacle. When I get to it, I'm gonna communicate with it in such a way that it's gonna feel its best interest is to just come along for the ride because I didn't take your money, your worship, your advice. What the fuck do I owe you? You should be. Like what the, the fuck is this possible? Your church. Fuck you. They take your money and it's supposed to be related to your creator or God. What the fuck would a God in general want your money for? What makes them so godly to take your money so they can perpetuate you on something where they're taking more people's money and making them more stupid and, and they'll tell me about your baptism? I don't care. It doesn't matter what religion you think you are. You get all your energy from one son, and you feed it to the other son. It doesn't matter what names you throw at it. God's name is the name never to be spoken. It's like, this force is uncatchable if you found out a name of God that was the joke. It clearly couldn't be your God because God is nameless. It's not something, you know, you, you, it's the grand architect. But it's, you didn't say it was the grand architect uh, Tommy, it's nothing, it, it wasn't Grand Architect Susan, yeah, it's, it was just an idea of an architect alone, that there's an architect, that there's a creator, mm -hmm. but for you to attach any Yahweh, those time, whatever, yeah, that's just, like, what the fuck did you just do? It's like, now you're no longer one with that thing, you've stepped outside of it, and now you're questioning, all oh, the shit that's happening. I'm not questioning that I've been shot, stabbed, right? Away. All this horrible shit's happened to me. Whatever. I don't question it. I know. Here I am in the future, and I saw through all that fucking shit I've been through. Look what's become of me. Nobody bothers me. Before, it was like, think of that. People. Oh, God. I mean, it's like you, you didn't have a minute to yourself. One thing to. It's. It's. Can you. Put that in over there if you get a chance before you leave it. You could leave it three today, or you know, it just doesn't. I'm out the, out the door at three, normally every day. Before, it was totally different. So one, one of the things you just in general, people have, to, oh, you're a plumber type. Yeah, people, people think plumbers are this or that. But I imagine, I'm not just a plumber, I'm doing all kinds of other shit now. So you probably should just classify me as one of those butt crack type of guys because you'll never see my fucking butt crack. I have the sense to at least tuck in a bottom shirt, put on my pants, put it up, and then place the other shirt over. So when I'm thinking over my shirt came with this little second one, you know, like you'll never see a plumber crack. <laughs> I'm just saying. And uh you know, and I know most of the plumbers you see out there, once they're whatever time it is, the first place they go to the gas station to get a four pack and they're drinking it in the fucking company van on the way home. Some of them even been busted, and their employers, they've been with so long that they had the breath thing placed in their plumbing van so that, just to make sure that van or truck wouldn't start until they blew. And they're fucking there. And the boss lets it. They're fucking. No, I'm telling. So, it's like, if I'm not saying you should go smoke weed all day as a plumber or an electrician or whatever it is. But I'm sure that, you know, yeah, they get a drug test you once. I mean, probably in the beginning, maybe you could quit for a couple weeks or whatever, pass your test. Nobody, 
to be suspecting anything. When they suspect a problem with you, it's when you come in and you have liquor on your breath. That's when I see it. I smell liquor on other people's breath. And I can see when they talk to the boss, they, they, they try and say for it, they can try and put Listerine in their mouth, but whatever you put in your mouth was a dead giveaway. Yeah. It was the giveaway. Yeah. We know you're drinking again, or you wouldn't have that smell of gum in your mouth trying to overcome something like the liquor you just drank. And do what you want. I'm not. Don't misinterpret me. I'm just saying this type of work is it's not like a hazardous type of thing. Uh, most people that do like the type of shit I do, the last thing your boss is worried about is you smoking weed at home at night time. The last thing they'll probably be suspecting is you doing anything bad in their company until they smell something like alcohol. Alcohol is the killer. I'm just telling you, like alcohol is the killer. You know when you smell somebody drunk, if I smell my boss with liquor on his breath, or I know, you know, I'm not saying the owner of the company, but the person that she's placed there uh, to manage us, you know, say, here, go do this job, do this shit, do this guy. I'm just saying that in general. It's, it's not every day or, or anything like that, but you know when this shit happens. How do you not know when somebody's been drinking or smoking or, or something like that? So. One of the things I was trying to just remind you about this whole plumbing thing is like plumb. The earth is flat. It's like like the first flat earth video was doing was showing you that buildings would go up crooked because the plumb wants if the earth is round, then the plumb is going to want to point to the center of that round thing. When you move the plumb over here, it's it's now this direction and it's still wanting to go this way. So I know you think well buildings aren't big enough that they wouldn't go crooked. No, you're fucking retarded. You're so fucking filthy retarded that they tell you it's the horizon, horizontal, it's sea level. You can see it with no, it's, I'm just telling you, everything's so impossible. I don't, I don't understand how you wouldn't see how I would turn into something like this once you capture a specific amount of knowledge about demons, angels, your creator, the universe, all kinds of shit. You start to realize it. My God, it's so much knowledge you can't even give it away. If you make a video, people will think they're fucking crazy and leave stupid comments because there's, it's just, you know, like when I, it's just kind of funny. When I say there's no intelligent life out there, 